Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center, coming at you from SHOT Show 2023, and you folks know who this is. Coming at you. It's at SHOT Show 23. I'm uh, Joe Flowers. I am, of course, here with Joe Flowers, which means we're at the Condor booth. Yay! Which means we've got some cool fixed blades to talk about, Absolutely. which always makes me very, very happy. Good. I, I like fixed blades too, so let's have a happy let's, time together interviewing. Let's start. Speaking of fixed blades, we've got a Serbian cleaver by none other than Gorn Mikalovic who is known for Bushcraft Global and also has designed for other companies as well. Uh, he's of Serbian descent, but has lived like 30 years down in the jungle in Colombia. And mm -hmm. one of my best friends I do stuff with, I wanted to introduce him to Condor. So we brought him down and uh, he already had a cleaver made uh, all, all in his kitchen. So I was like, dude, I bet you that. And he was like, yeah, I need to push that in right away. Excellent. Really cool. He yeah. makes all of his stuff out in the middle of the jungle, I, just you've, hand tools. You've told me some, some cool stories yeah. about him. I look forward to meeting him someday. But yeah, so that's great camp kitchen knife right there, yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. You Convex? Know, yeah, it's yeah. made out of, I believe this one's 1095, and so it'll take that patina with it, too. Mm -hmm. um, we're still, uh, with some of the specs, I may be wrong, guys, so please, uh, we're still waiting on the catalogs to double check everything, but I believe that's going to be 1095. That's going to be cool. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Yeah. Yeah. I've never messed with one with a uh, as a as a standard kitchen knife this style of uh, of blade. Maybe I'll have no, to. No, you'll you'll see that intuition bit. like with the Chinese fishmonger mm -hmm. knives and mm -hmm. stuff too. That when, when you start getting comfortable with big blades like that, it becomes very very useful. And of course, he never stops thinking. So he's out here with the Trivitata. What? Huh? That is a poison dart frog. Actually, it's oh. a three line poison dart frog called the Trivitata. I think there's two V's and two T's in there and we'll so he has a wonderful bushcraft style knife this is in 1095 with a coffee colored handle would you say i'd say natural micarta hey tell whatever. me some facts about this i tell like putting him on the this. yeah he really teaches me a lot about knife stuff <laughs> well it definitely has that puko influence going on yeah. natural micarta i like mm -hmm. the little bit of a uh, little bit of handle shaping here red liners <laughs> red orangey red yeah yeah what more do you want to know? Oh no, that's it. I just I just like hearing him talk about knives sometimes. Oh, okay. Let's talk about stabbing things. That's no, that's got a really nice solid feel in the hand. Yeah, and he's a he's you a could, very hardcore you know knife user yeah, too. Yeah. Being out in the bush, you know, he does that. Yeah, a not lot. a pretender for sure. Right. Uh, it feels like you could sit down by a fire and carve with this for hours. Yeah, like that, that's what we do that. sometimes on the yeah. on the bushcraft global trips and stuff. And you get to you don't have to do that out in the jungle. You can do that at home with some canvas on the ground. Or oh something. yeah. So, I used to do that with a tarp on the ground in, yeah. the, in the living room. Yeah. I got a kid now. I can't get away with that nah, Well, you got you to wait a little bit. Then you teach your kid how to whittle. Oh, there you, there go. you go. There you go. So um, this is my design. This Le is leather sheath with this? Yes, correct. They both and come with high grit, high quality leather sheath. The chef, the chef knife as well? Correct. Very yeah, cool. it comes with the cover, cover that snaps down. You can see pictures of the sheaths, guys, on uh, Condor TK. Dot and knife center very soon, probably. Yes, absolutely. Must probably first. <laughs> um, so this is my design. This is a trade dag. This is um, really popular in the fur trade area with Native Americans. Um, and I tried to stay pretty original. They have a lot of varying sizes with it. They can go from six inches to eight inches. Mm -hmm. But I was actually reading in um, um, the Mountaineers uh, uh, tool book about some of the ways that they would carry this. And that's why it doesn't have a lantern. They would actually wrap a leather thong around that. Around the yeah. bulb at the back. And they would they would have really, really uh, large, um, I believe, uh, really large um, you know, blankets, I guess you'd say. And they'd have their hands under there and they'd always have one of these attached to their wrist mm -hmm. underneath the thing. So they, they, they would use this, uh, although it looks like a tactical knife and it's double edge, they would use this for a lot of camp chores. Mm -hmm. And um, the Hudson Bay Company had some. Um, you could get them even from, they're even sold on eBay, some of the very old ones from <laughs> Solid in Germany. Mm. So really cool. So I wanted to pay homage to that style, but make it in modern materials. Yeah, I, I got to admit, I'd probably be nervous with the double edge doing like camping stuff yeah. personally. But uh, more power to them, man. If well, you, I mean, if you, you know you your learn. tool, you know your tool. And that wouldn't be the only tool they had, right? So this might be something where they're processing and doing a lot of meat both directions. Um, but also for self-defense leather sheath yes yep. leather sheath that looks beautiful it's something new with this too is we have copper bolts they look great oh as opposed to the brass yeah yeah, yeah. and i think we're going to try and experiment maybe do some copper liners or something along that line could just be fun see. and we Very got nice. something i am super freaking excited about i which like it, this yes yeah, so the pterosaur you know we kind of had a formula that i wanted to start bringing into other stuff so Lots of work on the ergonomics of the handle. You'll notice this handle's a bit longer than most machete handles. 
and it has a rounded pommel with an extension on the back. There is a hook on the back of this so that you can use this for a longer machete. I should swing it towards him. No, like no, no, a longer no. machete You actually swung too. it towards me. Yeah, Come but on. I knew how much. <laughs> He's fine. He's full of... I, I got to get new jokes. I keep saying people are full of blood. I got to get new jokes. Well, it's not a joke if it's true. Uh, it's, it's facts. Got to get new facts. <laughs> and if you look at it this way, there's a Godzilla head. So, but this is an extension of the Pterosaur family. Correct, but this yeah. is not This is the Pterosaur machete. Pterosaur machete. machete. Yes. And um, just to show you the different colors, this is the this is new too. This is a big deal for us. This is a lot of investment. The engineers at Condor worked really hard to get a polypropylene sheath style. And the sheath, um, I have one on my side here now that I've been using all morning, and it really is intuitive. It just sinks right into there. And so that's the Terrachetti Machete. It's going to have an MSRP of around $70, $60, $70. So Lifetime warranty. They're, they're not color. They're, they're color matched, so you yeah. can get the, the knife and the sheath this color or this Right, color. Yeah, yeah, green. And I have um, that, that knife is actually the one that I've been wearing on my side at SHOT Show. We didn't talk about the blade at all yet, though. Correct. Um, so it's got a hole in it for that forward lanyard um, because some people like that for safety. A I'm different a big fan. grind. Yeah. Um, Scandi you know, and convex. Yeah, this is more for, you know, being around rocks and then when you want to. And this space, I know it doesn't seem like a busy area, but this gets a lot of use in the bush. People like to do a lot of fine carving. People who know how to really use machetes will do a lot of fine carving with this. And so that there is a reason that it has a space right there. Right, right. Um, and, it, and it helps for a little bit more fine work too. Yeah. No, that's a that's a cool combination of grinds on something like this. Yeah. And with that kind of MSRP, of course, the price on our website's gonna be a little bit lower than that. Yeah, correct. That's that's a lot going on for the money. Yeah, like and, and you know, lifetime warranty, all that stuff too. You'll be seeing that handle on some other stuff as well, but uh, pretty excited. We're also working with um, Fiber. I think I can say this. Yeah, I can say it. Um, we, we were starting to work with uh, uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon and Zytels type stuff too, mm -hmm. to have some other type of materials out there as well. Um, this is an example actually. I like the right center here. line point too on this. Yeah, it's well, you know, it's, really that, nice. it's, it's kind of like the same, yep. the same idea behind this, point down the center line. It's not really like a rule, with machetes to have a point down center line, but it is with the bushcraft knives, right. <laughs> according to the internet and stuff. So, this is new this year. It's called the Fighter Knife. This was designed in-house by Condor, mm -hmm. and it comes with the polypropylene style injection molded sheets too. So it's a nice little package. I believe that's going for around ninety dollars or eighty dollars um, with uh, ten ninety-five high carbon steel and a serrated. That's the MSRP. Correct. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure about the prices, guys. They never tell me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I dig that. I mean, the handle feels great. The handle the, has that coke, coke yeah. sauce. It. You'll be seeing that handle on a lot of other designs. Well, later it, too. it works, so that's mm -hmm. cool. The blade is thin enough where this can pull off some real fine slices. Right, yeah. Do your skinning stuff, you do can, your outdoor you, stuff. You see so much thick but, knives out there. But fighter, too. Yeah. Like, it's a, I mean, my mind goes to it, and yeah, like, of course it it's is. It's a fighting knife, yeah. But it's also all that other stuff, too. Right. I mean, there is, that's kind of the level where we've kind of gotten into these labels of this is exactly an outdoor knife. No, a cutty thing can cut here and cut there right, too. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would, as the, our, our good friend Ethan Becker likes yeah. to say, I'd go woods loafing with this. I would go woods loafing with it. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so that design's in-house by Condor. Um, we're gonna, you're gonna be meeting some other designers here coming up, um, but also uh, the Burmese Hunter. This is like a Thai Daw style, fast moving machete. Oh my gosh. Um, you're not gonna be chopping with this. You're going to be chopping um, maybe uh, invasive bad animals or, <laughs> or something along that line or or, or um, small small trees. You, like you might have problems chopping something bigger than like a Coke can mm -hmm. size. But this thing is a fast moving, get it, through brush crick. It does not feel overly heavy. No, no, it's like, supposed to be fast. Surprisingly so, yeah. I got to admit. It, Even got a distal taper going down correct. on this? Yes, nice. absolutely. And so it's very thick back here to still use it for you know sword-based stuff, but man, it is a fast machete. The, uh, a lot of the indigenous I worked with really liked working with this because they could they could dispatch you know fish and things that way, but they were able to get through. He said vines and, mm -hmm. and thinner stuff like mm -hmm. a, a fast move instead of like the chopper instead of ink. That is really sweet. I got to admit, I that I had I literally hadn't picked it up before just now. Oh, cool! On camera and yeah, the the balance and the. The, the lack of weight. Yeah, it's based off of the tie dog. Surprised me very, like in a good way. Like yeah. it feels phenomenal. Cool. I'm got his seal of full swing. I'm gonna swing it. Yeah, you can do it here. No, Rick's over there. I don't want to hit him. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs>
And so Very we have cool. other designers Very like cool. Julio Diaz, 710 Custom Knives. He has a black leaf coming out this year. I believe this is in 1095, high carbon steel with that saber E giant grind. Would you call that a saber grind? I'd call that a high flat. High flat, okay. Yeah. There we got another high flat. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out I'm trying to figure out the uh, myth of the saber grind. Saber grinds are I think a lot of people have very in my mind funny ideas about what a saber grind yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We so, don't need to get into that here. <laughs> no, he's got to keep this under 5 minutes. <laughs> So it has a high flat grind with a secondary bevel, a Kydex sheet, uh, very... Um, Which is somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah, over there. It's, it's It's the normal Kydex that you see from 710 Custom so Kydex. his gray Kydex and the, yeah, the black this one's leather black. Yeah, This one's it's black. It's called okay. the black yeah. leaf, but it's a it's a, a flatter style. And um, Great handle shape, too, on this one. Yeah, and yeah. like I said, we're getting some other designers, and uh, I wanted to pull in another Serbian friend of mine named Nemanja Bogdanov. Mm -hmm. He did a really cool... Um, he does pin designs for uh, Strike Gently Company and a, a lot of different logo designs. And I told him, you know, you should put your mind around thinking about blades since you love them so much. Mm -hmm. And he did. And, and so I told him, hey, you should submit it to Condor. And this is what we came, he came up with, the Zoka knife, which means stinger in uh, Serbian, I believe. And um, he got stung a bunch when he was down in the jungle with me, so he <laughs> named it after that. But he, he said some things which I really appreciated uh, when he described his knife. He said he liked it out of 1095, so it would take on a pati patina, patina yeah. and become its uh, own knife rather than just like look like everybody else's. And I thought that was pretty charming. And it comes with the high quality leather sheath style too, which is not on the table because I'm not that organized. <laughs> It feels really good. It's, it's not a contour on this. It's more of a flat style. Right, yeah. But it nestles in pretty nicely. Might, yeah, it's going to be like an EDC style. Yeah. yeah. That's Nemanja Bogdanov. I can see that being a small hunter, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sweet. Or even just your companion knife to a bigger blade yeah. when camping. Absolutely. Cutty things cut things. Right. Well, Anywhere. no, I mean, like, when you, it's like people think that, oh, I have to have the most perfect knife you know, ready to go all the time. But no, like when you start getting into, oh crap, I need to put on my guy line and it's raining, you just, I need to cut it, yeah. to cut stuff. Well, it's like the more you know, the less you need. Right, yeah. right. Except yeah. for me, I end up bringing like 50 pounds of machetes into the bush every time. <laughs> um, I brought this into the bush. Um, we talked about this maybe last year at the Polar Wind. We had this at Blade Show. Right, yeah. we had the but you choiled. had the choiled version. Right, now yeah. it's, it's... It's less floppy? Correct. Because you were, you were can, really you know, yeah, making this one, us all nervous. Yeah, this one's still... Well, it can make you nervous that way, too. Don't, you can don't, still bend oh, it. Oh, killing it. <laughs> so, 18 inch? No, this is like a 20 Yeah, it's inch. a 20 inch. 20 inch. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to make a very lightweight, um, like one that somebody in Colombia would like to use a lot. Something that was around two millimeters thick. So mm -hmm. it's thin on purpose, and you can make this work fast. Yeah. And and that velocity has a lot of reason behind it. You can chop very well with a fast moving yes. machete yes. like this. And it kicked butt down there. I, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, and you can paddle your boat with it too. <laughs> you know, yeah. So. yeah, I I could see that happening. But well, we did. It's carbon steel, so you know, yeah, wipe it well, off after. Yeah, yes. We, we now we are working with 14C28N. Yes. As, as yes. well, and um, I like to guest star and bring in uh, Jason Breeden. Yes. Um, so here because he's a new designer. That's his stuff right here at the end yeah, of the table. Yeah, yeah. Well, grab him here at the end of the thing and get him um, uh, talking about some of his stuff. But excellent. Yeah. If you guys want to find out more, you can go on KnifeCenter.com with the DCA crew. Um, and uh, uh, he can get. He can also like call me at my house. And be like Joe, we need more specs on this. And you know, you're like a founding video. member of the DCA crew. Don't you? Really? Yeah. Did you make the gang signs yet? No, no, we haven't oh, done man. that. Man, <laughs> he needs to get a patch and some pins and, and Jason, stuff. Jason, we need you over patch. here. We're done. Yeah, he does. Joe's, have a patch. Joe's done now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your time, guys. Bye. You still have all your lands, Dave? No. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All of my blood is still inside. Yeah, I fine. got band aids in here. <laughs> all right. We are now here. Now that we've kicked Joe off the microphone. We've got Jason Breeden here with us, who you've had some stuff in Condor's lineup before. Yes. But you and I have never met, so. Yeah. David, nice to meet you. It is a pleasure. Yes. Uh, and you've got a few things here to talk to us about. Okay. Yeah, so I'll start off, uh, as you mentioned, I've done some things with Condor in the past. One of them was the Mountain Pass series. Mm -hmm. uh, did really well with the micarta handles and different things. And, and that same year, one of the things that, that we worked on was the Mountaineer Trail Knife. Uh, this year, we're adding to that line with a couple of other knives. The first one is the Mountaineer Trail Hunter, and so I, what I wanted to do with it was sort of come up with something that was a little more along the bird and trout size, mm -hmm. you know, a thinner a thinner blade, still wanted to maintain the cord wrap in the center and the hickory handles. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and of course with that one come with a sheath just like the other Mountaineer Trail knife, so kind of got the dangle feature on the sheath. You can put your belt through this area of the loop, this area of the mm -hmm. loop, 
Uh, you can also wear a cross draw if you want, and you can even put a metal clip in it to clip on that way as well. So it gives you a lot of functionality and options whenever you want to carry the knife. Excellent. And works really well together. Same stone wash feature on the blade. Um, you know, and, and a great place here to index your thumb, your finger, or even for that matter, if you need to pick a pot up off the fire or something like that, kind of sure. gives you a nice little, little bit of function something. notch. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Not not so more V-shaped, so, and it gives a little bit of character mm -hmm. in the shape. Is this going to be a carbon steel or one of the stainlesses? It, it is going to be uh, 1095, so it's uh, kind of falls right in with that sort of more traditional look mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. feel of the knives, just like the Mountaineer Trail. Very nice. And also this year, I uh, wanted to do some, some smaller knives, uh, getting out on the trail, something that's accessible to keep, again, the cord wrap feature. We did make this out of micarta. And then we're also going with a, these are stainless blades. Uh, so these are Mountaineer Trail, sort of like trail spur knives, right? Mm -hmm. So that one's called the Intent. Uh, black micarta, it will have a, a black leather sheath as well. And so it is, has, this, is this the, uh, we talked about the steel, is this the Sandvik 14C28? Yes, the, the Sandvik 14C28, yes. And uh, and again, a nice ambidextrous sheath. So one thing I wanted to do is, you know, a lot of times with leather sheaths, you're sort of beholden to uh, right hand carry. just one yeah. way, right yeah. hand carry. So this way the sheath is made so that we can, uh, the user can actually define which way they want to carry it. And it gives them some options, you know, for mounting as well. You can put the metal clip in, uh, belt loop, you can carry cross draw here, or cross draw or regular loop here and here. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Very nice. Yep. Um, also going along with that Mountaineer Trail series, we have the Exp Expedition Axe here. So this is sort of the first forged head that I've done with Condor, um, which I really like. It turned out well. I want to do sort of a thinning grind here. Mm -hmm. um, hickory handle smaller carry it does come with a nice little leather sheath that goes with it i like that it comes with the uh the overstrike collar too yes that's a nice little feature yeah it, it's nice for retention gives it a little bit of character and and it is a nice feature to have with an axe that size makes it nicer when you're doing this sort of thing too if you're uh if you're trying to do the, use your hatchet as a one tool option yes yeah it's yeah. gonna be a great camp hatchet for sure flat pole Thank at the you. back you can hammer with it right yeah and you can do a little bit of skinning if you need to with that as well we rounded the edges sort of made it a hybrid of kind of like a a working axe for game games sure. as well so, yeah. very nice yeah. and last but not least yeah so a new series that I'm, I'm really proud of I've always been a fan of leather stacked handles and wanted to do something a little different instead of just a traditional uh, maybe like aluminum or steel guard uh, and pommel there. We just, I really wanted to do something with leather stacking. And so we did hickory on both sides and then also a, a canvas micarta spacers in between to sort of trap the leather. And what this did is give a really light knife. Um, there's also a machete and a hatchet that's coming out in the same handle style. Mm -hmm. And um, so it gives you a really nice light carry knife, but that can do a lot of work. As you can see, it has the oh, yeah. thickness to it. Um, for batoning, it has the flat edge so that you know you can use a, a fire steel and so forth with it. So it gives yeah. you a lot of options. I mean, and that's a that's kind of a do everything blade shape right there for an outdoors knife. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, I think should be good for the bushcrafters and other people who may not be want just the 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 uh, concave grind or convex grind, but they can also have that as well. So yeah, it yeah. feels great in the hand. Thank you. Yeah. It feels very good. And yeah. it, it also has that traditional look that I'm going for, you know, that that, that sort of, um, but different, you know, yeah. something that people yeah. haven't seen, so. Well, as you can saw right there, the balance point on it is perfect. So longer blade, perfectly agile. Very nice, I see you, you picked the yeah. sheath up over there. Yeah, and, and so the sheath too, also one of the things I want to play into again is, is giving people options. So again, you this sort of squared off sheath design here mm -hmm. allows you to put it in left or right handed. And you know it'll it'll mold and form to the user whichever one they traditionally carry with more. But it also has a really nice pivot here, so that you know again when you're setting you have that option. Yep. Getting in and out of vehicles, I've always found that to be a good, yes, good thing, especially. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things I like about the, the dangle feature on this one, and I've got it on my side. Is you know a lot of times I like to tuck them in my pocket. Sure. Going in a store or sure. something like that, and you don't want to really have that out, so it makes it nice. 
but also a couple of eyelets we added onto the sheet so that you can strap it onto a backpack or tie it off or something sure, sure. like that. So, yeah, really excited about this. All three of the the, the knives and or the knife and the hatchet and the machete as well. So, fantastic. Yeah. What was the name of that again? I'm sorry. This is the Country Back Road series. So this will be the Country Back Roads knife, Country Back Roads machete, and Country Back Roads axe. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. I really yeah, appreciate it, David, man. pleasure meeting yeah. you. Yeah, that's all we've got for now. This is just a little bit, a little taste of the yeah. new lineup this year. There's far too much new stuff over here that uh, we couldn't even cover today. See, they're excited about it too, over there. Thanks for sticking around. If you want to see this stuff, uh, it is going to be on Condor's website, and it should also be on our website, of course, very soon, if it's not already. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. For, uh, for your time, of course. <laughs> Keep sticking around for more SHOT Show coverage, of course. Thanks so much.